Right, quiz time. Ready? Quiz time. Yeah. Do you know how much I like these? No, but this is a good one because you're just <laughs> together. It's just a laid back, really laid back quiz. It was just all the fact Ryan Giggs just done 999 appearances for United, so we're preempting more tributes <laughs> for the gigs next week, right? As soon as everyone's going to be talking about the big thousand, that's going to be headlines. So these are just Premier League records. Some you will know, some you won't, but they're all quite interesting to talk about. So an obvious one to start with, most Premier League wins. United. United, United absolutely. Uh, 522 wins. And just in case people aren't sure who Manchester United are, <laughs> we put that up. You get that any bigger? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, 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 it's pixelated, which I haven't seen in a long time. I haven't seen that since Page Maker 4. Um, 799 games and 522 wins. Less easy. Most draws. Most draws. So, I, OK, we're going to help you a little bit. Think, I think draw says mid-table, doesn't it? Stuck. And you've got to stay... You're along right lines. You've got to stay in the Premier League probably for most of that period, yeah. if not all. So you're, you're, you're around the right lines, that type mm -hmm. of... You're, you're, you're never in much trouble. You're never in... A little in a bit more trouble this season. Fulham? Ish. Again, you're right mm -hmm. on the right lines. If you had a said Aston Villa, you would have been right. Mm -hmm. But you're... In, oh, for goodness. <laughs> really? <laughs> right. Uh, so, yeah, 249 draws. So they've mm -hmm. paid... Aston Villa fans paid to see more draws... This is an interesting one. Most defeats in Premier League history. Now, you could come up like Derby. Exactly. You haven't been there enough times for it to... to, to you know, you had the, the least points total ever. So, it, it's, it has to be a club that's been there year in, year out. Yeah. So, of all the clubs that have been there year in, year out, who's Bolton at the most were defeats? there for a long time. They were. It's not a, a bad show. A long shot. time. As my good friend Roy Walker would say, it's good, but it's not right. right. <laughs> Right. I thought um, you said this was easy. It's, no, no, it's more just it's getting harder now. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> one, one of you pl played for this club. So. The most defeats? It's not Blackburn. No, it's Everton, but I don't really? want to see what we're going to put up on the screen. Is it going to be half of the logo again? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, that's not bad there. What does that mean, Pat? You played, you had that badge. What's it um, mean? No sense. Roughly translated as nothing but the best. Nothing but the best. I hope that's right. Yeah. People be typing but on I, I only read. Reiterating what I was talking about, I did O level Latin, that was it. I mean, yeah. I will not know. Ecce Romani? Yes, I remember. Espuela, Subarbore, I'm just slipping that in there. Yeah, and I, I did O level Latin. I didn't even say a pass. Yeah, but <laughs> I just said I did it. What, what, what he did not in there, we did O level Latin when he was four. <laughs> no, no, the worst thing is Frank Lampard did, I think, A level and got an A for it or something. Did he? Did he did no. Latin right up? Yeah. No, was he going to be a lawyer if football fell through? That's one of the main reasons, isn't it? Lawyers yeah. and. Um, Landscape gardeners need good knowledge of Latin because of the names of the plants are all in Latin. Um, that's uh, 20 seconds of your life you never get back. Nice to have a football show now. Yeah. Uh, most goals conceded in the Premier League. Again, there's no rhyme or... I can't, I can't believe this one, actually. You can't? Good. Is it Liverpool? <laughs> no, no. But, it, you know, it's, it's exactly, if you were looking at Premier League history, a team of that level, really. Yeah. So it's, um, it's Tottenham, Hotspur. Tottenham Hotspur. They've uh, that's conceded. A real shock. And that, that's that's, a that's their badge. That is a shocker. Um, they've conceded 1,050 goals. That's Ham Spur. Yeah. This is the easy one. Ryan Giggs, most appearances, yep. 600. And uh, 12 appearances for Ryan Giggs. So we can just. Staggering, eh? Yeah, it's something Absolutely else. Absolutely staggering. Something else. Brilliant. Friend. There he is. Uh, most red cards. Now there's three. No, you're not. <laughs> How did you get? Uh, I got one, but it yeah, was uh, it was rescinded. Was it? Mm. Only one red card. I got sorry, I got two, but one of them was was uh, rescinded. The other one wasn't. Uriah Rennie. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Mm. Famous. You're not better about it anyway. At all, no, I <laughs> <laughs> Your lips disappeared there. <laughs> it was a bit of anger there, wasn't it? <laughs> so do, you know what, do you know what? I get one red card as well. I know you didn't even ask me, did you? you, didn't I didn't think, did, you did you get one? I got that was one for red speaking card. to the referee in Latin. <laughs> <laughs> did, did it, didn't you? You once got booked, didn't you? When you were lining up for a free kick and you were you weren't in no. the wall, you were off the wall. And, but so say say I'm going to do a diagram because it's the only way to explain it, right? So here's the wall. I'll, I'll put it up on the camera, right? There is a quick way to tell the story. No, wait. I want people to understand it, right? Have a look there, right? So there's the wall, right? And there's, there's Pat. There's, there's me, Pat. Oh, we had hair back then, so give me a wee bit of hair, <laughs> right? There, where is it? Right. There's wee Pat. No, that's that's a person taking the. That's the opposition person, and wee Pat's over here. I'm and he's the, trying I'm to point out, and he's saying, you're not 10 yards, you're not 10 yards. And Pat says to the referee, but ref, I'm equidistant, and he got booked for using a big word. <laughs> Isn't that right? He shouted at me, 
referee, and the rest of my team started laughing their heads off at me. <laughs> and the whole way through the game, during the game, people were shouting long words to each other <laughs> to wind me up during the game. I was actually sent off once for Tranmere Rovers. Huh? It was a case of mistaken identity. It wasn't me. And the mistake was they got, the referee got mixed up between me and Eric Nixon. No. The goalkeeper, who was six foot four, wearing a big green jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for goodness sake. <laughs> um, by the way, going off on a tangent here, and I want to Again. get through these, but, you know, we were saying we, we, it's never nice where if you're in February and you can't talk about, you know, where the title's going to go because it's going to Old Trafford. Um, League One's the opposite. Sensational mm. at the moment. It's after the tight, weekend. These Incredible. six teams like that, any, any of them could, could actually win the league. You could, you could argue seven teams at the moment will think they've still got a really good chance yeah. of winning the division. And again, these teams can come and run from just behind it as well, but it is incredibly tight. And it's a shame because we look at the Premier League, that's absolutely not the case. You look at Scotland, obviously not the case. You actually look at Spain, I think that's gone as well. Barca yeah. have got it, haven't they, as yeah. well? And it is a little bit of a shame that it all seems to be going into one or two clubs this year and there's less interest. So Let's get on to League One and forget the Premier League. Yeah, exactly. Well, we could even do Conference North. <laughs> Come on, the mighty Chester. Well clear. Right. Most red cards, three players, joint. Jay one Batman, of them. who? Vinnie one of Jones, <laughs> must go. he's got in there, has he? No? No, no, no. Um, Vinnie Batman, what? come on, she must be Joe. No, Batman. not at all. No. Um, one of them, uh, he's never referred to by his name. It's always Big... And then his name. No one ever calls him just... You know, they always go, oh, big, and then say his name. Big Dunk. Big Dunk. Big Dunk oh, and Ferguson. Yeah, yeah. Well done, Alan. Uh, the other one, uh, midfield enforcer. Um, For wonderful. Wolverhampton Wanderers? No, no. Wonderful, wonderful footballer. Wonderful footballer and invincible. Invincible? A Patrick Vieira. Vieira. Ah. And the final one, Irish legend. Keane. Uh, who? Keane. Keane. No, no. Oh. Very famous for having to have his number drawn in the back of his Republic of Ireland shirt because it was covered in that much blood. Richard Dunn. Guys, oh, Richard Dunn. Oh. We got a picture of him. There you go. That's the three of them. Um, right, we've got four more for you, and then we can go home. <laughs> uh, most substitute appearances. So that's, that's a good one, that. Most, most substitute you're appearances. You're tempted to say Solskjaer, no, I was just going to say Solskjaer, yeah. yeah. yeah no, because yeah. he... It's not... It, I don't know it's why... Gotta it's got to be a winger. It's got to be a winger. I go the opposite, so I'm going to, it is a striker because it, that's more likely to be you bring someone on score goals. Bring goal, so it's yeah. someone who played for a lot of years but was never really the best striker in his team. Kalu? Who? Kalu. Oh, he's so clear. You're a letter out. You, when you started, I was like, oh, you've got it. And when you finished, you had it. But if you take the L out and put <laughs> a different letter in, you've got... Ka. Albert Camus, the French philosopher. <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. And we've got... Uh, uh, There's a red card again. I've actually got his uh, short stories here. And we're just going to read from it now. Uh, no, it's Canu. But thanks for mentioning Albert Camus on, on match of day three. Surely never to be repeated. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> right, three more for you now. This yeah, is, this an is existentialist, not a philosopher. Yeah. Carry on. This is a record you don't want. Uh, most substituted player... No, you would have watched him, wouldn't you? You would have watched him. Would, would, yeah, um, I'll just check. I would have watched him. He would have been... Would, he, would you have been... Yeah, you would have been standing on the pitch watching him go off a lot. Oh, right. Uh, where? Newcastle? Yeah. So this is awkward for you because you're not hitting in your head who's the worst player I played for, played with. No, the worst would be the one coming on. Solano. Yes! <laughs> what a <laughs> shot! That was a wee bit too quick, <laughs> Alan, for comfort. Yes. <laughs> Alberto Solano substituted 132 <laughs> times. Great lad as well. Wow. What a player he was. Wow. All right, this is the obvious one. Uh, most goals, do you know what the answer is, Pat? I thought it was him. It is, yeah, I just wanted to check. Because it would have been humiliating <laughs> if you'd have got that wrong. And <laughs> just in case you didn't know, right, that's him. Yeah, that'll do. And uh, <laughs> final one, uh, most own goals scored. <sighs> Because uh, uh, Hoyveld scored his third of the season mm. against Newcastle on Sunday. Uh, that's uh, three in a season the most that's ever been scored by one player. Now, I thought the answer to this would have been Jamie Carragher. Yeah. He scored quite a lot. Richard um, Dunn scored a couple as well, hasn't The answer few? is, we're finishing a hot streak. It's Richard Dunn yeah. on that bombshell. Thank you and good night. <laughs>